Hey there, welcome back to another Albion video. So I bought myself an 8.3 set a couple of days ago to make Slayer Corrupted Dungeons content. But after a series of nasty loot streaks, I decided to put that on hold for now. But what can a solo player do with an 8.3 set that's profitable but also not risky? Yellow Zone Mists. Some of you may say Scribble. What the flip flop? You're just bullying newbies. And to you, my friend, I say, yes, but no. The Yellow Zone Mists are filled with players running 8.3 to 8.4 sets. They typically gatekeep the Mist objectives for loot. But what I noticed was, most of these dudes aren't really that good with PvP. So when faced with a fellow 8.3 like us, they tend to run away or crumble. So we're technically fighting high-tiered newbies. <laughs> but Yellow Zone loot. What can you even get from there? Well, the loot I've gotten isn't all that bad. But the meat and potatoes of the video is the Nightfall Abbey. Because it's the newest thing right now in Albion, most of the juicy loot is funneled over there. Yes, even Yellow Zone Abbey dungeons. And the combat fame here is insane! So quick disclaimer, I won't say that all of you can get your own 8.3 Infernal stats from Yellow Zone Abbey Dungeons, but as you can see here from these examples, there are jackpots to be had. I do recommend getting into Nightfall Abbey ASAP before they fix this insanity. Bring as high a gear set as you can, and go out there and have fun. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, a like and a subscribe would really help out the channel. And if you want to improve your 1v1 experience for Corrupted Dungeons, why not check out our last video on the Deathgivers? 